Okay, here we are again, or here we are still, depending on your perspective. I am waiting for something to normalize, and I don't want the fire to die, so I'm going to work on something else. And you can tell it's getting serious because I took the paint off first. What I plan to do is make myself a flux spoon. Uh, and uh, this is half inch round, or at least it used to be. And I do not know if this is going to be enough material, like as far as diameter. I was thinking I might need more girth. I'm thinking it's just a flux spoon. I don't need a huge giant thing anyway. We'll see what I can do with the tiny rod that I've got. All right, we started here with 13 inches. And I am going to just measure what I've got left. Measure what I've got left when I'm all done with this and figure out how much we used in reverse. So I'm just trying to square up the end more than anything. A little extra girth never hurt anyone. And that set down was about seven eighths of an inch. Oh, and I just realized I'm doing that the wrong way. Oopsie. Do I have enough? Yeah, I suppose we'll find out. Uh, to explain, I'm actually planning to make this like a teeny tiny pouring ladle. So I need the mass kind of offset to one side. Ooh. All right. Now, get this hot again. Let's see if I didn't just completely ruin it. It's getting kind of messy in there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with a file before I uh, come back. Sparkler party. Okay, so since I've got this kind of trapezoidal shape up on the top here, and uh, because I drew this too thin in the wrong direction, I need really heavy hits right in the transition area so I can turn it change the stock dimension to flatten it out the other way. So, fortunately, this is just a flux spoon. Okay, I'm gonna have plenty. We're still like a quarter inch this way and like 3 16 this way. So, uh, I can pull that out, I can go at it with the corner here and get that dimension where I want it. If you look closely, you may not be able to tell, but we're actually convex on the back here and a little bit in the front. So was actually hitting enough that it was upsetting through the center of the, uh, through the center of the bar, which is why I was hitting as hard as I was.
ball end. That's pretty ugly, isn't it? Thank you, I think so too. I don't actually have a cupping tool small enough for this, so we are just going to use this little bolster and ball peen and we will make do. using my little V-swage to crease the point here a little bit. A very small fuller. I don't have an appropriate size ball stake. I just have my ball peen hammer here in the vise. Use this to close this up. Just about there. Not very pretty. I also burnt the S out of it.
center there. Alright, now the fun part. So my next step is I'm going to take this hammer, which I've put a texture into, and I'm going to texture the handle of the spoon. Pretty. And so here we are. Got my beautiful looking little flux spoon. It does have a significant stress crack here on the back from cold hammering. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna live with it. It's just a spoon. Oh, if it breaks, I've got a welder. I'll just weld it back together and pretend it never happened. <laughs> the idea here is basically use a spoon, dig it up, and then be able to pour out smaller amounts and put it exactly where you want it. This is just brazing flux uh, and I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. Most of the time you see people using spoons and they're using a little spoon and it's fairly accurate but it still dumps out the entire side you know like they're doing this and there's a lot getting wasted there. Not that it's particularly expensive, uh, especially considering I'm mostly intending to use this with borax. Uh, so <laughs> it's quite cheap actually. But uh, anyhow, that is the, uh, is the way it's going and the way I'm planning to work it. So yeah, I, I'm happy with it. Other than that little stress crack, um, I, uh, yeah, I've got no complaints. So, uh, my little texturing hammer did a pretty good job. This is just uh, finished with boiled linseed oil. And then I took my block brush and brought the, uh, the highlights back out of it just to get the, the texture to show. Uh, I particularly like that texturing hammer and I just think it leaves a really cool finish. I'm excited to get some use on it. And uh, I actually have a video planned where I'm going to be using a number of different fluxes and trying to experiment with, uh, with some forge welding. Um, I do have some more forge welding projects I would like to do, but um, yeah, I need some practice in the forge. And I think experimenting with some different fluxes, I'll even try using this on a couple forge welds and see if it actually works. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you like it. 
it's uh, certainly going to be a useful tool here in the shop.